right, Jeff Lambert here, No Mess Roofing and Gutters, Roof Rejuvenation, save your roof, save your money. Uh, we're over here um, in Cyprus. When I was driving over here, I think I said that it was Thursday, it's actually Wednesday, it's the 22nd. Uh, we found another area where there was rotten decking uh, before we rejuvenated. So I had Chewy take care of it, let me turn this around. All right, so up there, he took care of the rotten decking. Very small section, as you can see right here. Not very big, but nonetheless, excuse me, can still cause uh, issues. <clears throat> Stuff like that, some people will just shingle over it. Just put ice and water shield and shingle over it for like 175 bucks. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, that's not the right way of doing it. <laughs> Replace the deck and put on some ice and water shield, storm guard, whatever you want to call it, and then turn around. Underleaving. That's my double, double protection, extra peace of mind, and then shingles. So I'm going to turn this around because uh, while he was doing that, uh, Pablo and started the rejuvenation treatment. So we started up here. We didn't do that side over there, just the back. That's it's applied, and you can see Pablo up there spraying it right now on some dried out shingles. Just see the difference between the two. Let's see if I can get this to go back a little bit. Here we go. I gotta get all the proper attachments. There's this really cool camera that you can just stick on your shirt or you can stick on your hat. It's not a GoPro, but it's a competitor of GoPro. It's very light. I like it a lot. I'm gonna get that so I don't have to use this. I'm gonna get a couple of them because I'm gonna get one for Pablo so he can put it on his hat while he's doing it. One for Eric so he can put his on his hat or on his shirt. And then, uh, you know, we got all different angles. So that's what we're gonna do. We had a drone guy, but it's, it's too time consuming to drone these things. You know, if you're doing like the, with, like with roofs, you know, m the majority of roofing companies are doing, I, I don't know, like 10 roofs a week. How many roofs do you think a majority roofing company does? A lot. Like a week, like 10, 15? Yeah, yeah, about 10, 15, and you know, and you won't find them droning all of those roofs. Uh, they're gonna drone the real nice ones, or they're gonna drone uh, the long-term. Uh, the projects are gonna take longer. And on our gutter jobs or rejuvenation jobs, it's a lot easier just to do the camera with a Samsung phone that I have. So that's them just applying it. So Pablo has Cougar Paw shoes on. They have a special uh, sole that actually deteriorates as he walks on the composition shingles. The soles will eventually just break down. And then you buy new pads. That's what they're called, cougar paw pads. And it Velcros on to the bottom of your shoe. So you can only really, if you're using shoes like this every day, you can really only um, utilize that boot for probably about six months because the Velcro uh, will eventually start to deteriorate and uh, break down and you know that's what's holding the pad on and the pad is what's holding you to the roof. So if that pad comes off, you're slipping right off. There's no traction underneath there. It's just Velcro, little plastic pieces. So uh, the Cougar Paw is a great shoe. It's about 160 bucks and the pads are, I think are like 25 bucks. Uh, I go through, back in the day, I was going through a pad a week, two pads a week. Now it's probably like a pad every four months, six months. I really don't get up on the roof as much walking all over the place unless I'm doing the inspection myself on a Saturday when the guys are off and I'm running appointments. So I have my Cougar Paws and they look brand new. <laughs> Before they never look like that. Um, but anyway, rejuvenating the roof in Cypress, Texas. We did two rotten decking replacements, uh, full tune-up, gutter cleaning, 
a little bit of gutter repair. We're going to put some screens on the bottom gutters uh, in front, just a small section. And uh, I think we're going to wipe down the gutters too after we're done with the rejuvenation, at least the lower gutters in front. Um, put some gutter butter on there and make them look nicer. Um, so we're going to come back in a year and check the pliability of the shingles. We do that every year for five years. We come back and we check the pliability of the shingles. You can already see the lower roof starting to dry, crystallize, and set. So when you guys are spraying valleys, you don't want to spray a lot in the valley because obviously what you spray up on top is going to travel its way down. So it's water and oil, and we all know that doesn't mix. So we have a king sprayer that constantly circulates the material in the uh, bin itself. And then as it's going up into the uh, hose, and we have a 300 foot hose, again, it's properly ratioed for the mix. And so in the valleys, if you, you know, spray those heavy, like you spray the flat pieces over here, uh, obviously more chemical is gonna develop in those valleys. So you want to spray the valleys lightly. You definitely want to make sure you get them, but you want to spray them lightly. All right, this is looking real nice. So we have a hose set up so we can turn around. If you look a little bit closer, like on the gutters, it's a little windy. If you can if you watch the trees, you know, it's a little windy. So on the gutter, where you see that little white runoff, I'm going to hit that real quick with the hose. We've got that here. All right, it actually cleans the gutter a little bit too. Um, and then, you know, we just kind of rinse off things. Like right here, it's got little spots on it. So what I'm going to do is grab the uh, nozzle and just rinse it off. Me. Sorry. Just lightly rinse it off. Maybe hit the fence. Got some spots on it. Get it off. Hit them all. And then, like I said, uh, because it's water, let's say if I miss the gutter and it sprays up on the roof, we're good to go because the water is the traveling agent for the oil. The water evaporates, the oil stays. And when that happens, the oil sticks and sets. Oh, I'm sorry. I still have the camera in my hand. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> ah, this is a good deal. Oh, man. Yeah. So, excuse me. I wanted to do that real quick so you guys can see it. So uh, I'm gonna start helping out a little bit because we got Chewy over there doing the wood, uh, the, the other decking replacement. So let me turn this around so you can see Pablo. There we go. Yeah, I got that misted on me a little bit. It isn't gonna harm you. It's not gonna cause any damage. It's not gonna be bad. You don't wanna ingest it it in your eyes or stuff like that. So we're proper protection. Um, and I've gotten it on my skin quite a bit and it's irritated it because I didn't wipe it all the way off. So if you do get it on your skin, you know, take some Dawn soap and some water and use that to rinse it off. It breaks it down and it gets it completely off. If you just use water and rag, you're gonna still have residue on your skin. It's gonna cause an irritation if you leave it there. Uh, but if it gets on you, you rinse it off, you're good to go. It gets on my glasses quite a bit, spots it up, doesn't do any problem with it. I have expensive, expensive glasses. Um, so I was worried about that, but nope, no problems. All right, I'm gonna let you go here, and then I'll do another video when we're almost done. I need to start rinsing stuff off. All right, Jeff Lambert here, no mess, roofing and gutters, roof rejuvenation, save your roof, save your money. All right, I'll talk to you later.